Hi, my name is Emil and I've been working in the educational technology industry and in artificial intelligence for over 30 years now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how we use AI within our business to create great training content and how you can use it too. So this channel is basically for anyone working in business, in training or presentations. Anyone who wants to leverage the power of AI to 10x their performance in creating learning content. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all the artificial intelligence tools available out there for you today. We're going to take the best of breed and tell you how to use them. The first in this list is ChatGTP. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through ChatGTP and show you exactly how you can get the best from this great artificial intelligence resource. Okay, so we're going to start using ChatGTP for creating pre-course surveys. If you are doing any type of training, it's always good to find out what your target audience want. AI allows you to do so much more than you would be doing otherwise. One thing that allows you to do is it allows you to customize what you are doing for your target audience. So because there's far less work involved, you're directing the AI rather than actually doing all the donkey work yourself, you can make sure that what you're doing is ideally targeted for the people who you're presenting your training for. What we're going to do is take an example. So let's just say we'll do a time management course and we're going to say, please give me a free course survey for a time management course. Let's just say 10 questions. Now we could upload documentation there. We could upload course notes. We could upload information about our target audience, anything we wanted to, in order to just provide the AI with more background information about what we're trying to achieve. But the simple seeding of time management courses, as we're doing a time management course, so it's asked us some general questions, such as how often do you find yourself missing deadlines? Do you currently use tools or techniques uh, on a typical workday? How many hours do you feel are spent productively? So the answer to these questions can be very useful when we actually come to structuring our training. It's asked us whether we want to produce a post-course survey, which we can do if we wanted to, but we're not going to do that for this instance. What we're going to do is we're going to ask it to put that information into a format which we can use to collect data. So. What we're going to do is we're going to say, please create the code. Now, don't worry, when you're not going to have to do any coding, it basically just creates all the code for you to do this. Because it's Google Forms, they don't have a direct API with ChatGTP, so you need to do it via JavaScript. So this is the step you need to take. So we're saying, please create the code to create this survey in Google Forms. So it knows the two vital bits of information. It knows basically you are prepared to use code in order to create the survey, and it's going to give you that code, ideally suited to Google Forms. If you were to ask for Microsoft Forms instead, it will provide you with a CSV file. And so it adapts to what you want to achieve, really. So we're just going to close the other tabs, and we're going to basically do what it's asking us to do. So it says, go to Google Apps Script, which is the way I like to do it, you can also do this within Google Forms and you can create a new project. We'll call it survey for time management. And we've renamed it. We then remove the existing code and then we'll take this code and we'll paste it into here. Make sure we're copying it and then we we'll paste it into there. And now we're going to deploy it as a new deployment within our library. Doing this allows us to run that code on our own installation. So we're updating the deployment. And now you can see this run button has been created for us. It's been enabled. We can select run and it will run the code for us. Before we run any code, it's going to go for this permissions issue. So it'll ask us for permissions. It doesn't always work first time. Sometimes it will ask you for permissions a couple of times before working, but it always does work in the end. So it just needs time for the authentication to kick in. So here with the execution has started. Uh, and it's running for you and it's creating the form for you. If for any reason you get an error here, don't worry about it. Just copy that error, paste it back into ChatGTP, and it will automatically recreate the code for you, which you need to replace here. And it will work eventually. It always does work eventually. But here it's working first time. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that code into our system. And you can see here we have the survey. So here we have 
the survey and we have the questions about the survey and you can edit that yourself if you need to, to make further changes. We can publish and distribute the survey and then we can collate any responses we're getting and they automatically would go into a spreadsheet. So what you can do a week before the course starts, you can send out an email with a link to the survey. People can respond to the survey and you get the data there. Now, once you've got that data, you can do some excellent things with it. You can ask it to summarize the data. So this is an example of another survey I've run in the past. We can say summarize findings of the survey. If we want to have a look at what the findings are, so you can see it's time stamped and you can see what the individual responses are, but then it's analyzing those results on the spreadsheet and it's going to come back with findings it's found for you. And you can look at them and you can analyze what the overall information is. But what really the power of ChatGTP is, is for it to take the next step for you. So it can look at those findings and suggest how you would change your course content in order to fit those. You can see here, we've got our findings a summary and we've got some key insights from the summary. It's working out those key insights and it says, oh, would you like me to visualize this data with charts? and pie graphs, I would say. So yes, and it can do that for us as well. So we get a good understanding of the data. But as I said, the main advantage of ChatGTP is it then can apply that understanding to your existing content. So we'll show you how that works. So here we have some time management skills information from our survey. Great, you can see poor planning is the most important thing, et cetera. So we probably need to focus a bit more on that. And it says here are the visual summaries of your survey data and it summarizes that for you and you can have a PDF summary report. But what we want to do now is we're going to say, can you tailor the, let's just give a bit more detail, a one day training session on time management for this target audience. Now you can upload your existing notes. You may have an existing schedule you like to create, but what this is now doing is it's basically based on the survey findings, it's going to tailor this one day time session exactly to the findings that you've got. So because you've got this ability to rewrite all your stuff, restructure your stuff, just like that, you can really tailor your sessions for the exact needs that your target audience has. So you can see here, we've got times and uh, uh, deliverables, etc. Now, having had a look at this, you can see, okay, that's great, but I don't teach the Eisenhower matrix technique. I want to talk more about the Pomodoro time and introduce that earlier. So you can have a dialogue with the AI. So you can say, put more emphasis on the 80, 20 rule and end the training at 4 PM. And you can see having given you that information it's the AI has got it. It's adapting to your feedback and it's reforming the session accordingly. So it's basically besides different things and creating further information for you. Uh, and it's restructuring it so it ends at 345. So AI is like a spell check for the mind. It's basically you work with it. You're in charge, you hold the reins, but what AI is doing is it's basically then taking your orders and doing what an intern would do, it's doing the donkey work and recreating that for you. Now it says, would you like me to draft the slide titles outline for session or provide a printable weekly action plan or template? It's giving you ideas. Again, this dialogue gives you ideas about more and more stuff that you can do. So with regards to slides, let's ask it to produce a PowerPoint for us. So we'll say, can you produce a single PowerPoint deck for the whole day? And now it started to produce resources for you. So you've got data from your target audience. You've collated that together. You have fed that into the AI, you've changed your deliverable. And now having ascertained exactly what you want to deliver, what your schedule is, what you want to cover, you can then add the detail to it, add the icing on the cake, and you can produce a single PowerPoint deck for the whole day. Now it's analyzing at the moment, but once it's finished analyzing, it will produce the PowerPoint for you, which you can download. And this is a very recent thing. So before you'd have to add, run scripting, but now you can download that PowerPoint deck and that PowerPoint deck is there for you and you can save that and then open it. And you can see here, it's asking you to do, do further things like provide a facilitated script guide to go with this deck and then it can add training notes basically to go with the deck as well. So it will do the whole thing for you. It will give you all the detail, but again, you're in charge. And this is the PowerPoint slide that it produces. As you can see, it's quite plain. Um, 
if you wanted to produce something that's fully formatted, you can use a third party tool and something like, I mean, the, the primary one is from our sponsor for this session, Open Elms AI, Open Elms. And what that produces for you is a fully graphical PowerPoint presentation, but can also produce other materials for you automatically that can complement your training session. Things like um, e-learning, um, a video of the day's training, gamification tools, learning matrices, and, and other things that will help you get across your learning points before or after, or even during your training session. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to talk about, so we've now got our PowerPoint slides and we've got our feedback and we know what we want to deliver. The next thing we want to do is maybe just go through and use the AI to challenge us and help us prepare for the session. And we can do this by basically getting it to role play some scenarios. So we'll ask it to role play, you are a difficult student, let's have a dialogue. We we'll just, we we'll just, we we'll say a different student for this time management course. It will know this anyway, but we're just being extra safe. Let's have a dialogue. It's going to role play as a difficult student, your time management on the course. So we're going to explore practical strategies. And the difficult student says, honestly, I don't think time management courses work. I've been to a few and nothing really changes. My problem is that I have too much work. No fancy plan that's going to fix that. And you'll say, don't worry, real strategies to educate you and those around you to ensure that you are given time to strategize. And then so we'll give that some feedback and we'll say, okay, but here's the thing. My manager doesn't care about strategizing time. They just want things done. I need time to plan. I can't exactly tell them I need time to plan. That's not my real estate job. And I say, once you and those around you understand the importance of planning, you will see it is your primary job, I promise. And then you can continue the dialogue. That has a nice bit of reality and it goes on and on and on. And after that, you can say, uh, how did I do? Can you give me some tips for improvement? And you can ask the AI how you did and can act as a coach. It can say, you're doing great, stay calm, and assertive emphasis. What you did well, confident reframing, future pacing, composure, tips to improve. And it gives you some information about how to improve. So you can basically role play the entire dialogue with your with your students and so you're really prepared you're prepared because you've got the um the course outline completed you've got materials you've got the powerpoint maybe you created some some other materials such as pre-learning post-learning in the way of e-learning or or video content and you're also practiced and well prepared but of course you can produce other content as well using the ai so uh, it's just take some examples you may say uh, give me a glossary of terms for the course and it will give you a glossary of terms for the course and you can use that as a handout and it, you, know, you can print it off as a pdf and here you've got your time management glossary so that covers everything in the course all the wording that may be new to them and you can print it off as a one page printable sheet or poster for the course other nice things you can do so we've got our course we've got our content we know what to do we've got all our handouts the materials are there but we haven't sold it yet so let's use chat ttp to help us sell it so we'll say can you give me five selling points for this course and again, we're having a dialogue. We're asking ChatGTP what it thinks are the five selling points to our course. Now, this, they may be wrong, they may be right. You may need to ask them, say, well, I don't like these. Can you give me some more? But let's just say we've got some here. Master the art of working smarter, not harder. So we'll say, okay, I like that. Can you create a marketing email on master the art of working smarter, not harder? But we'll say, let's just say the advertising industry. So what it will do is it will tailor your message for the industry you're working on. So you can have various different sub segments, which this course targets, and you can make sure that your exact email, your exact messaging, it is tailored for that. And you can just copy and paste that into your CRM and send it out. So 
in essence, that's ChatGTP, how it can be used to benefit training. There are lots of other things. ChatGTP is not the only AI. There are other AIs which do other things better, and there's other AIs that do other things worse. If we're looking at book five codings, things like that, you've got Gemini and Claude, which are better in those areas. Flexibility, ChatGTP is great, but we'll go through all of those and we'll pick out the benefits of them and other things you can do. And the next thing we'll cover is Google Notebook, LM, and that's do some really funky stuff with that. So we'll show you how we can use that in a training scenario and how we can use that to really build and collate training knowledge and provide a source of knowledge which you can be used in a very flexible way to create loads and loads of training ongoing so that'll be next thank you very much for listening if you've got any questions please put them in the comments below and like and subscribe many thanks